All right, uh, moving on now to other stories, to the incessant insecurity ravaging parts of a country. More than 80 persons, including women and children, have now been confirmed dead in Mangu community of Plat State. Women in the community staged a protest to express their worry and dissatisfaction over the incessant attacks and killings. The situation is still tense despite the curfew imposed in the area and the presence of security operatives deployed. TVC News for Nam Joshua was in the community and now reports. A delegation from the state government that includes heads of security agencies in the state and government officials. Their first port of call is the palace of the paramount ruler of Mangu to get first-hand information and details about what caused the Tuesday midnight attack as well as visit and see the affected communities. Over four communities were said to have been invaded in Mangu town as claimed by leaders of the affected communities. Eyewitnesses brought to the palace of the paramount ruler gave their sight of what they believe triggered the attack and killing of their loved ones. Come went to somebody's town and he went there to see what was happening because he was destroying his family. And when there, he was killed. That was the beginning. You had the, the, the statistics that they buried 50 and there is 35. So you put the two together. They give you a simple arrangement that is over, over 80. And we have not even had the statistics around Panyam Gindri Axis. So it's still ongoing. Some of the women protesting spoke to us about their grievances. Even in my village right now, my parents are running. Yes. Where I went to the farm yesterday, I was running. Hater skelter. Yes. They are killing us by animals. Security is not even helping. They are rather protecting cows. Stop pushing the cows to where they will be protected. The paramount ruler of Mangu Council area for his part says they want more deployment of security operatives as their presence seemed not to be enough to control the situation. Despite the curfew imposed in the local government area, the attackers are still unleashing mayhem on communities 24 hours after. There is a need for more deployment of security personnel to Mangu Council area to tackle the situation. For Nom Joshua, TVC News, Mangu.